Welcome back to the Papa Meat Channel. How you doing? How you doing? Come on and sit on down. Today, we're going to be scavenging through one of the most vile, evil parts of the internet. Is it Twitter? Are we going to Twitter? Almost. If Twitter had an IMDb or a Rotten Tomatoes, it would be called Letterbox. We're gonna be looking at some of the hottest takes, some of the worst reviews on Letterbox, and seeing how they fare. All right, you know, some of these are kind of funny. But I'm curious, I want to get in the mind of the letterbox reviewer, you know? I'm tired of being such a, such a out of the hip realm of moviegoers. I want to be in there. I want to see what it's like. So see, I got my nice little, I got my blue blocking glasses. Cause I'm, I, I'm, I, I think about the future of my eyes. That's kind of hip. I feel like letterbox enjoyers would enjoy this, right? Do I look snazzy? Are we ready to go? I think we're ready to go. And our first movie is John Wick chapter four. I've only seen John Wick chapter one. I didn't, I didn't care to see any of the other ones. It was great. I loved it. Dakota Joaquin gave it five stars. Can't wait to finally lose my virginity so I can say that this was better than sex. Damn, Joaquin. Let me tell you, a lot of things are better than party or boy butt, whatever you're thinking. It, it just, it is overrated. Especially when you get in a relationship. Am I right, fellas? Right? Hey, ladies. It's like riding the same roller coaster 4,000 times in a row. Real fun. Definitely not 4,000 times, eh, maybe 50. In the span of my marriage, I hope to have sex at least 60 times. Will I get there? I doubt it because me and my hand go way back. Five stars from 24 Frames of Nick. Hey, I follow him on Twitter. I think he said he wanted to box me one time. On March 24th, 2023, Kanye West said he is no longer anti-Semitic because of this movie and Jonah Hill. Five stars? I don't think I'd give 21 Jump Street five stars. I, you know, I was very surprised. I like Jonah Hill. I just got done watching Moneyball. He's really good in that. I miss fat Jonah Hill. It's gonna happen whenever I get ripped. People are gonna be like, I miss fatty, fatty Magoo. Movies where the main guy comes and you see the cum. Infinity, ah. I'm trying to think about what's the weakest movie on this list. God, The Green Knight was such a disappointment. I was so sad with The Green Knight. I'd say The Green Knight's probably the worst movie on this list. Aesthetically, it's very beautiful. It's a beautiful movie, but goddamn, is it just a slog. I don't, I can't put the, I don't even know the Evangelion scene. Put the Evangelion scene up. I'm so fucked up. <laughs> wow. Look all that cum. Infinity Pool, I like Brandon Cronenberg. I like Possessor a lot, but Infinity Pool, there was some cum in that, but Mia Goth was super fucking annoying in that movie. <laughs> Everyone's like, I stand Mia Goth. Right now, she's like the big uh, horror queen right now. Yeah, I didn't didn't care for it in this movie. I just, you know, get on. And then The Lighthouse, where it's basically Robert Pattinson and Willem, Willem Dafoe about to fuck in black and white. Pretty fun. Megan from Janna C26. What are you, a fucking Star Wars robot? Half a star. I hope she gets locked in a dungeon and gets fed balls 24 7, 365 with one like. Come on, dude. You can't do Megan like that. I thought Megan was. I give it a. I give Megan three stars. I thought it was stupid enough to be fun. Jurassic World Dominion, one star. I agree with that. At one point, a kid in front of me got so bored, he started doing a handstand in his seat, which would normally be annoying, but in this case, it was the most entertaining part of the movie. 14,000 likes. <laughs> I think in any case, if I saw a child just, well, not a child, because I fucking hate children, but if I saw a 33-year-old person just do a handstand in the middle of a movie, I think no matter what, I'd probably be impressed the entire time. I don't think, I don't see a world where I'm not impressed. Half a star on the whale from Silent Dawn. Simple Jack for, <laughs> Simple Jack for Aaron. <laughs> What is it? What, what is this? 10. What is that? It just says 10. Simple Jack for Aronofsky heads. Or maybe his Norbit. Darren's latest case in <laughs> Miserableism is a A24 produced theatrical adaptation that functions as both. What is that word? Sa saccharine? Saccharine weepy for people who use the Brendan Renaissance hashtag and those who wish that my 600 pound life somehow had less artistic integrity. <laughs> Miserableisms. It's a very good way. <laughs> <laughs> to, get to point out a Darren Aronofsky movie. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I, I, you know what? I don't, it definitely isn't a half star. Okay. It's a good movie. It's a great performance by him. But at the same time, the whole like Brendan Renaissance thing and like, you know. Protect Brendan Fraser at all costs. Listen, dude. Old boy got dealt a shitty hand. Poopy hand. I mean, that hand was ra like riddled in shit. But he's a grown man. He's a star. He's an actor. He's a brilliant actor. He's going to get on his two feet again. This whole thing about like 14 to 25 year old women being like, I'm just so happy to see him smiling again. Almost made me not want to see this movie. But luckily, I persevered. The Lobster, four stars. Silent Dawn, 70 out of 100. That's C plus. 
C plus, I like the lobster. In the lobster, John C. Riley is forced to put his hand in a toaster after being accused of masturbating in his hotel room. There were four people in the entire theater. I was the only one laughing. I would be laughing with you. I'd be the fourth person in the front. Too afraid to laugh, but I'd be laughing internally. That's that. You know what? To be fair, honestly, four stars is a pretty good rating. I think that this, especially this director, I can never pronounce the director's name. This director did Killing of a Sacred Deer and also The Favorite, and those are all great movies. This is a really like a really dark like a black comedy, and no, not white chicks. This is a dark comedy on multiple levels. It's like so dry. I hope she dies right away. On second thoughts. I hope she suffers quite a bit before she dies. This director's really good about just making really weird universes and weird rules. If you haven't seen The Lobster, you should. It's it's really, really funny. Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, five stars. Thank God that we all live in a timeline where James Corden's audition for Samwise Gamgee wasn't successful. Is that true? Did James Corden actually audition for Samwise Gamgee? Can you fucking imagine that goofy bastard? And he'd probably still be wearing the fucking... He wears a medium Fred Perry shirt. Just wear like a double XL. You'll look so much better. Looks like a fucking balloon. That one video too of him doing the flash mob in the street in like the cat outfit or something or whatever he was dressed as. Jesus fucking Christ. I'll tell you what though, Lord of the Rings, I'd give all three of them five stars. All three of them. Yeah, you know, I hear some people bitch too. They're like, and the director's cuts are too long. Fuck off. Infinity Pool, three stars. Starting to think that Mia Goth isn't acting. She's just kind of like that. I think that she's, I, I like Mia Goth as an actor. It's just a Cronenberg movie. I don't even think I'd give Infinity Pool three stars. I think I'd probably give it like two. Midsummer, three and a half stars. Imagine being left out of your family's suicide. <laughs> No shit, this bitch was crying the whole movie. I'd be crying the whole movie too, are you kidding me? Wait, you all killed yourself? <laughs> That's good. Come on, I mean, three, I can see three and a half stars being... That's acceptable for Midsummer. I'd probably, I'd probably give it four. The Northman, four stars. Robert Eggers watched The Lion King said, Willem, take off your clothes, I have an idea. I think he just said, this is Hamlet. I don't think he even tried to hide it. I think he just wanted to make a Nordic Hamlet, which if you don't know this, uh, billions of fucking movies copy Hamlet, okay? A lot of them. Almost every family drama copies Hamlet. Just want to throw that out there. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 2022. Oh God, one star. I, if, how could you even vote on this? Netflix should be waived next month's fee as an apology for putting this movie out. Oh my God. First off, do not watch this movie. It's it's not even fu it's not even funny bad. But there is one part where it's so atrocious. It, Leatherface goes on a bus and there's all these like woke kids on there because they bought they bought the town in rural Texas. I don't fucking know. It's dumb. But they're all in this like RV and then the Leatherface walks in and then they just immediately say, oh, you are so canceled. And they put up their phones to record him and then he just kills all of them. He kills all the woke people. He kills all the fucking millennial Gen Z or yeah. That, that, so that was kind of funny. That was a good part of the movie, but it was also maybe I wanted to kill myself. I wanted to kill myself watching this movie. I don't feel good about saying that. I don't think it's funny. It was just real. That's how real I feel. Skin and Marink, one star. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> my boy George Carmi coming in real strong. Fuck you. I just spent an hour and 40 minutes of my life staring at furniture while people whisper shit for no reason. <laughs> I feel like Skin and Marink would probably have the most, like, either people were like, oh, five stars. I've never been this scared my whole life. Or people just being like, what the f This is fucking dumb. Um, dude, I, I do think, uh, do you think Skin and Rink will go down as one of the most misunderstood movies of our generation? It's hard to say misunderstood. I think that it has its own merits, but I think that like, I think this kind of filmmaking is going to become more popular. And I think it's so at the forefront of shit that I think looking back, people are going to be like, oh, it was so ahead of its time. It's going to be that kind of thing, I think. It follows four and a half stars. Good score. I must have missed the safe sex, sex lecture about the demonic people in high school. Doesn't matter how much they tell you, you're still gonna chase after it. It Follows has one of the best soundtracks. I love It Follows. It Follows is the best thing. If you're ever wondering, what sh what, sh what music should I play while there's trick-or-treaters out? Just loop the It Follows soundtrack. It's the best. It's really good for that. And also, It Follows, come on. I remember I saw this in theaters. I remember I was like, this is so sick. Using the idea of uh, STDs as your monster is really, really fun. Also, kids, if you have unprotected sex, your dick gets dirty. Okay? There's diseases everywhere. No one wants to be the person. You don't want to be the first person in your high school to get that. Some people like to wear them like veteran badges, like a purple heart. There's no purple heart right here. This is a dishonorable discharge. 
Satan, right? And that's going to be the same dishonorable discharge that comes out of your cock. <laughs> okay. Naked launch. At first I thought, hey, is it? this isn't very Cronenbergian. And then a random character at a bar casually asked our protagonist if he was a huh? f Then leaned back to reveal a giant humanoid bug monster sitting next to him. And I was like, oh, sure. Yeah, that's not, that, that sounds like a nice little uh, David Cronenberg film. If I had to recommend one David Cronenberg movie just to throw him off, it'd be Crash. You ever see Crash? Pretty much just people fucking in cars the whole time. People obsessed with fucking in cars and getting in wrecks. No, 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 not the Crash that's like the weird racist movie. No, 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 no. This movie is just about rape and car crash stuff. Actually, if I had to recommend any Cronenberg film, I'd say Videodrome. What? Speak of the fucking devil, Crash. <laughs> Four stars. I appreciate how this film subscribed to the Dennis Reynolds school of thought for ideal story structure, crime, penetration, crime, full penetration, crime, penetration. And this goes on and on back and forth for 90 minutes or so, 90 or so minutes until the movie just sort of ends. Great blind buy. Yeah. Crash is great. I'm gonna let you know right now, if you go home and watch Crash, you will be disappointed. It's a good movie, but you will be, you're, you're just gonna be like, I don't understand. That's just, that's just, that's just Cronenberg, baby. Just a fucking weird, weird, weird dude who just loves sex and weird shit. Crime full penetration, but the fuck scenes are very, I mean, intimate. I thought that people were actually fucking in this movie. So, you know, there's that. Goodwill Hunting, five stars. <laughs> it's not your fault, remember that scene? You haven't seen Good Will Hunting? Dude, watch a fucking movie once or twice in your life. You know, you don't have to just watch random Russian movies. You can watch popular movies. Like, how have you not seen Good Will Hunting? It's a great fucking movie. Honestly, I just don't even, I wouldn't look at you right now. I'm not mad. We'll never be able to wrap my head around the fact that Matt Damon and Ben Affleck wrote this, this screenplay. They literally look like they have one brain cell between the two of them. It's true. I'm pretty sure Matt Damon did almost all of the writing, if I remember right. I think they even Family Guy made a joke about it. Good Will Hunting, so good. How do you like them at balls? Also, one of the probably Rob, one of Robin Williams' best uh, performances. So good. He killed himself. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, five stars for Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Five stars! Perfect movie. From beginning to end, it was Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I genuinely don't believe that there's a moment in film history funnier than when Mrs. Bueller says, he's truly a very sick boy. And then it suddenly cuts to Ferris just doing on his flute. However, in Ferris's case, I can assure you he is truly a very sick boy. Never had one lesson. Yeah, that is good. It's a shame that the principal in this movie is a pedophile. He's a, such a great actor, but he's a pedophile. So you'd like to go back and look at it and you're like, God, he's a fuck, I love this guy. He's in Howard the Duck, he's in Beetlejuice, he's in Ed Wood, he's in all these great movies. And then you're like, ah, oh, he's a pedophile. <sighs> Old. God, I fucking hate this movie. Five stars for old. My mind is blown by every facet of the film. The acting, the script, the story, the directing, all of it was awful. The worst movie I've seen in years. Uh, they had us in the first half. That, old, I can't. Who keeps giving M. Night Shyamalan money? Who the who the fuck keeps producing these movies? I want to know. It just goes to show, that's, that's what we need to do, Nick. We need to make one hit and then just ride that shit forever. Black Adam, five stars. Got my hog slopped watching this movie. Piece. That's a fucking, that's a way to bust, dude. Imagine going to see Black Adam and you see Dwayne the Rock, that giant fucking buff thumb on screen, and then you are still able to get hard and uh, release on a completion. Wow. Also, who the fuck cares about Black Adam the superhero, dude? Nope. Th four stars. That's what my pussy looks like. And there he is. <laughs> we started with a, a nice variety of uh, pretty good reviews, and then they just went absolutely savage, ape-like savage at the end there. Yeah, you know, Letterbox is an interesting thing. I like the idea of being able to just throw your review down for something very quickly and let people publicly see it. That's very fun. I, I, I agreed with a lot of these reviews. Nick, I'm, a, I'm thinking I might be a Letterbox head. Maybe I need to embrace the culture of Letterbox so people know how good my takes are because I know so many people compliment my takes. If you see any other funny Letterbox stuff, you know, tag me on Twitter, look at my Reddit, do any of that kind of stuff. I don't fucking know. Do whatever you want. In conclusion, uh, you, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna end it. Yeah.